Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DMZ Quick Mission, guys, and today we bring you Mass Extinction. We gotta wipe out 15 players in the lobby. It is a name accurately suited to Rashika Island because you literally have to kill the entire lobby to get it done. And in our master, you need 25% of the lobby dead. So, fun times ahead. However, this mission is not as bad as it seems. There's a couple of ways of getting it done. Number one, you can just go and kill 15 people. You can use the hunt contracts, you can use the UAV towers, you can use the SAM sites, strongholds, uh, the weapons case, all different hints and tricks as to where people might be on the map. You can also push spawns. However, racking up 15 of them is going to be incredibly difficult because there are games where you will see not one person on the map. And then if you have solos coming in, you try to think you're pushing a team and you get a solo player. Well, it's not that fun, is it? Luckily... Option number two is available. If you down a player and your teammate confirms the kill, or vice versa, it counts as two. So this mission description actually means you just need to kill eight operators. If you have a team that's got that pushes with you and he's able to coordinate it quite nicely. Because you can do it with eight operators means you can do it on a Sheikah. Now that is a lot easier to do it on. So I've included in this one a Mazra for me. And also a Sheikah for headshot to show the two different ways we did it. Personally, this was carnage. We got very lucky with teams off rip, I'll admit that. And we found, because I think we went through like four players. And then we found these guys extracting with the weapons case. And that weapons case just acted as a beacon for the lobby to come. And I think by the time we finished up, we had it like 18 legitimate kills. I have had to hit it down, don't worry, just to the 15 for this one. But I would really highly recommend trying to kill eight people. Knocking them and getting your teammate to finish. If that is still an almighty task for you to accomplish, there is a third way if you have two friends playing the game, and that is to lobby sync with each other. The later in the day, the better, because the less people that will be online. So if you're a night owl, it's going to work in your favor, because you just don't technically need to be in the same location, but it just definitely helps. If you're able to do that, two of you load in on one team. One of you load in on the other team, you meet up together, and then you just kill one person, let them be revived, kill them, let them be revived, and you just do that 15 times. It is a cheap way of doing it, and the reason, main reason I'm putting this video out, I know people know that I like the lobby sync method for missions that are, let's say, unobtainable or aggravating, uh, but we did want to do this one legitimately because we, we felt that it was a very fun mission to do. Um, there's not really much more to say on this one, surprisingly. It, it just comes down to your gun skills. Uh, another reason I like Ashika is because of the amount of money available on the map and the strongholds on the map, meaning you can get access to UAVs a lot easier, and the spawns are a lot easier to learn, and it's a lot easier to read the map and your compass at the top so that you can tell where people actually are. And then the rest of it just comes down to if the bots or if the skilled players, because sometimes... You just get caught out, you think you're able to push, and you're not able to push at all. So yeah, I seen this mission on Twitter, uh, probably the first week of Season 2, and I was dreading doing it. But it, it turned out to be a really fun mission, and one I really did enjoy. Uh, but again, I was lucky to have a squad. Now I do this with Headshot as a duo, and I do this one with, with uh, Baron Toxic as a trio, just so you get an idea. Of what can be done. Doing this at randoms is not necessarily a bad thing. Once you can get the knock and you ping. Randoms are only too happy to take a kill. It, it, it's a common thing. Over and over and over again. They will they will steal that kill for that XP. So hey. Knock them. Let the random finish them. Stick to them like glue if you have to. But it's definitely manageable on a Sheikah. Uh, which was one of the, the main things for me. Because you can't do the contract POIs. And you can't do the unique contracts in a single game on a Sheikah. Uh, and I thought it was one of the missions you couldn't do in a Sheikah. There's going to be a video uh, out about that in about an hour's time. Uh, a little method that I found, which I think people would like. But for Mass Extinction's purposes, yes. The minimum amount of kills you need is eight. And that is with a knock and a kill by two different people. You can lobby sync and you can do it with two of your friends. Or you can do it the old fashioned way, like in a Mazra. And just go around hunting the squads. You can die. That is the really good thing. You can die. The other reason I'm going to recommend a Sheikah over Al Mazra is simply because Al Mazra runs for a very long time. And there can be situations where if someone does get a confirmed kill and the knock, where you're going to have to go looking for more operators. It's going to get difficult the later the match goes on. If you have solo players coming in that are 
going to be exfilling. You've got teams getting wiped from spawn. You've got a simulations building up. It's a, it's a difficult one to get through. And there's nothing that's going to be more frustrating if you've sat there for 24 minutes and then you finish on 14 or 15 kills. With a Sheikah, everything is more fast-paced. Everyone is closer together. And... You know what, if you don't do it on your first attempt, your second and third go, it's very easy to regain on this map, just go to the strongholds, you'll be able to get your tree play vest back, you'll be able to get money, you'll be able to get backpacks, you have more keys that you can use, that you're able to go to those spots and get more loot from. It just feels like a better multiplayer map for getting this type of thing done than Amazur does, but everyone has their preference and I understand that. So that is Maz Extinction, we got it done uh, on Amazra and Ashika both time first try. Uh, I hope you have the same luck, I guess I'm out, I'll catch you on the next one.